Hey, it's Jesse Cage. Under the skin. This is where we take a look at artist tattoos and find out what is that hidden meaning? That 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 oh so hidden meaning. Wes Borland from Blacklight Burns. What's up, brother? Hi. Hi. Whoa. Hey. Whoa. Now we're karate chopping. This is. You know what? It's his show. It's all. All right, what do you want to say here? First of all, these aren't tattoos. Those are like gross, like <laughs> cuts where I my arm hits my guitar and then they fill with black makeup and scab over. But uh, now this is uh, uh, when in Limp Bizkit when three dollar bill went gold, we all got LB tattooed right there in sort of like crappy Mexican cholo writing that wasn't my uh, bag of uh, you know kibbles and bits or whatever. But uh, later on, a friend of mine uh, who was getting, uh, she was getting F-holes tattooed on her back like that, like women do that are like sort of cello F-holes, uh, was going in to get tattooed. And I, I was like, I want to get those on my arms. Those are great because they, I play mostly hollow body guitars and uh, really like Art Nouveau architecture, which is sort of the that uh, French movement of architecture in the early late 1800s early 1900s so and i always liked that slayer picture where the guy carved slayer in his arm so it was sort of all three like things where i kind of wanted to look like razor carved f holes and kind of represent the art nouveau movement and uh yeah and like this they don't really look like f holes so that's there's a lot to them yeah, and it's a, a girl did them that I'm not friends with anymore for extensive reasons that used to be one of my close friends, and that's all I have left so of that friendship. West Borland, Black Light Burns, and now you know about a relationship gone awry. <laughs> I actually it wasn't a relationship at all. It was just a friend of mine that I lost touch with. Edit, a friendship gone awry. Yeah. yeah. Wes, we appreciate it, man. Thank you so and much. If you want a really good one, Fred Durst tattooed that one when I was 21, and that's a really bad reminder of a friendship gone awry. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much, brother. Throw that one. <laughs>